First of all, in June 2021 was Apple Daily and its founder, Jimmy Lai. The newspaper that praised Hong Kong's 2019 pro-democracy movement was loathed by Beijing's leadership. With its executives charged under the national security law, the paper's assets were frozen. Lai, an outspoken critic of the Chinese Communist Party, is now in prison. For many Hong Kongers, the newspaper's demise sent a chill. It's like death, because Hong Kong is supposed to have freedom of press and speech. If the last organization that speaks for Hong Kong disappears, I don't want to live here anymore. Apple Daily was not the last. In late December, National Security Police raided the pro-democracy news website Stand News. Its assets were frozen and boxes of evidence, including computers, phones and journalistic materials, were carted away. Crowds showed up in support of two editors who had been charged with sedition. Their arrests came even after Stan News had said it would cease operations. The risk of lawsuits is changing how media think, says Ronson Chan, a former Stan News journalist who chairs the Hong Kong Journalists Association. Police spent five hours searching his sparse apartment. Chan spoke to VOA via Skype. No one could could um, escape from the from the law uh, from the NSL NSL. So so you may bear very high risk if you do some something very sensitive or or something. So uh, I think I feel quite sad about the future of this journalism in Hong Kong. A week later, Citizen News threw in the towel. I am unsure whether a story, a piece of news, or a sentence will violate a new regulation under the changing news environment. If I can't confidently let my reporters continue to do what we are doing, then I should stop. As a leader, I am responsible for journalists, after all. She added that journalists need to feel safe in their jobs. Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam says Western governments critical of the news outlet's closures don't understand Hong Kong law. Journalists are respected, but they must practice their trade properly, she says. If you breach the law but package yourself as a practitioner in the press, then we need to see through that to be able to tell what's actually happening, and the law enforcement department should take action. Press freedom advocates say it's a precarious time to be a journalist in Hong Kong. I think uh, here in Hong Kong at the moment, journalists are distressed, uh, they're frightened, they're despairing, uh, but they're trying to get on with their jobs um, as best they can. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough time if you know Hong Kong the way it used to be. Uh, this place used to be probably the freest uh, in Asia, uh, mm. this part of the world for, for the press. Now, with pro-democracy media closing and laws making journalists wary of covering political news, that freedom appears limited. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.